Hello everybody. First of all, thank you so much for hosting this talk. Um, today I'm going to talk about automating comments on GitHub. And this talk is about a project that I was doing last year. And it was a pretty small project. And a bit of background before I start. Um, I was almost finishing up with college last year. My background is, is in CS. So, and if you're into the tech and if you're into you if you're planning to go inside the tech industry um you need to have a certain amount of plan beforehand so i was preparing for interviews while i was i was almost finishing up with college and i realized that i need to have a job in the tech industry in order to survive while i'm working on the operating system so and it takes a lot of time to prepare for technical interviews especially if it's if it has a lot of uh, coding challenges so and i also realized based on my interaction with other people who are in the tech industry is that a lot of technical recruiters look at your profile get a profile um before actually interviewing and since i was also doing assignments for computer science, you know, all those C++ assignments, all those um, assignments that are more into the the, the GE classes, the, the computer science classes, and and uh, it was a lot of overwhelming uh, thing. So I realized that I need to make a script or something that will help me to comment to get out while I'm sleeping and this was a fun little project that I thought would be a nice learning process at the same time um, I didn't have any idea of Silicon so but I knew Python so I was like okay even, even though Python was something that I uh, didn't work that much with I was more into C++ and C um, but I thought it was it would be a nice project and Unix has a very powerful tool uh, and it's called Crontap. And what it does is it has like a minute, hour, and day of the month, and month away. And you, you can set parameters to schedule something so that it does things repeatedly based on your parameters. So in GitHub, in my GitHub in 2018, when I was in school, my GitHub looked like this. It had absolutely less um, number of comments. You know, you could see like 167. And after using the script, my comment was like this. I call it the Keep It Green script. And this was in 2019. You could see from January to September, it was all about that. And in fact, I received nice reviews from recruiters and technical recruiters and interviewers after I told them about this project and they were pretty interested like in fact I was actually kind of hesitant uh, to talk about it because you know it's, it's, it's a certain amount of you're actually uh, fooling a lot of people using the script because even though you're not committing all the time you're actually um, somehow doing something that is not okay not always so you know it was also randomized and what i did with that was like you know it's, it's not always um using the script to to do that like the script so the way the script work is works is, is that um every night every midnight it would open up it would go inside a private repository that i've already created on github and it would delete a already created file and then create that same file again that's two comments every midnight so it was two comments but then i was also doing my personal projects i was also you know putting things up and things that i care about even if i'm doing like you know basic uh programming challenges or something so it was also randomized at the same time which was quite interesting so if a technical recruiter goes into random 
it clicks on a random comment, you will notice that there's inconsistency. There's the today there was 29 contributions. Tomorrow there's gonna be four contributions. So it was it was like that. Um, regarding the GitOps policy, of course it meets all the all the terms and services and acceptable use policies. Uh, since you're using your own account, and I was wanted to make sure that it doesn't violate any any policies that GitHub has, because of course you don't want to uh, mess around with them. The project is not available at GitHub.com. In my uh, in my repository is called Keeping It Green, and the license is based on GPL. And I decided to make a GPL because I realized that, you know, open source is a powerful thing and people should embrace. Uh, even though I'm more into BSD and MIT licenses and all those promises licenses, I realized that, you know, I should also support the GPL movement. Um, ways to improve. This can be improved in several ways. For example, uh, random randomizing the comic count. Um, you know, it's just a very simple basic script that uses Selenium to automate the Chrome uh, stuff, but someone can use Firefox at the same time, just depending on the uh, requirements of the person. And check for local directories, and that that can be done using like okay, okay, if I already have some comment already, and if I already have some files, it will first check that and then upload it. If it doesn't find anything, then it will just do that dummy comment. Follow certain style style guys. So you know, just making sure whether it has. Uh, like I personally like Google Thread, so it should make sure that if, if it sees something in the local directory, it will also follow or also do like those kind of style guide stuff. Uh, scheduling only on weekends, so you know, on weekdays, I could just comment by myself, and then on the weekends, it will just see like four comments. Um, but yeah, it depends. Thank you so much. I've provided my LinkedIn and my website, and also the GitHub.